Bernd Erlmann is the head of purchasing for a large shipping company. He spends 5 million euros per year on new engines and tractor trailers. With the price of diesel steadily climbing, Bernd Erlmann is always on the lookout for more fuel efficient trucks. At the trade fair, I look for trucks that can transport a lot, use as little fuel as possible, and are as environmentally friendly as possible. And that's why he's interested in hybrid systems. The MAN company is his first stop. Bernd Ullmann hears that MAN has been working on a hybrid system for five years. It's a combination of combustion and electric engines. Road tests have apparently shown it can save up to 20% on diesel consumption. What about driving performance? Is it noticeable when you switch from electric to diesel drive? Drivers really like the way the engine performs. Especially in electric mode, you can increase speed with a more steady rate of acceleration. You don't get that familiar mechanical jolt when you speed up. MAN plans to introduce its hybrid to the market within two years. The new technology will add 20,000 euros to a truck's cost. Experts agree that this next generation technology is particularly suitable for trucks making deliveries in city traffic. Of course, the largest commercial vehicle producer, Mercedes-Benz, is also working on a hybrid. For shippers like Erlmann, it's absolutely critical for the hybrid system to function well on the road too. The battery is here in the front. This is a lithium-ion battery, the same thing you have in your mobile phone. What about repair and maintenance? Should I expect complications? Is the technology prone to problems? No, we foresee no problems. This is a maintenance-free battery. Do you already know when this car will be on the market? We're going to run tests on the car. Unfortunately, I can't say for sure when the car will be available to the public. The third stop is the Scania stand. Scania's salespeople steer Bernd Ullmann to their ethanol-fueled truck. They also promise fuel savings of 20%. Buses in Sweden have been using this system since the end of the 1980s. Most of the producers represented here have small and large hybrid vehicles on display. How about Scania? Do you have any hybrid vehicles? We are working on hybrids. We've conducted a lot of field tests in this area, but we don't have anything on display here because the hybrid technology in trucks is still not fully developed. Bernd Ullmann pays about 100,000 euros per truck. The same truck in a hybrid model would cost him an additional 20 to 40,000 euros. Where does he stand on the issue of hybrids after having made the rounds here? It's good that truck producers are working on new engine technologies to save fuel. There are lots of hybrid engines, but none ready for mass production, and none that we can afford.